On the Google Nexus player. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So I had to sideload the app. This APK is sideloaded from the Fire Stick. So I had to fire up the Fire Stick and I had to grab the APK off of it. And I actually did that myself. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to throw a link um, in the description with that APK for you guys. Um, but yeah, um, I I searched online for it first to try to find the APK, and it's not out there. But yeah, um, they released HBO Now for the Amazon Stick, but they didn't release it for the Nexus Player. Um, this app is amazing. I mean, HBO did a great job. I was concerned that it would not work. Um, I got a little error message. Uh, I can't recreate this error message. When I first loaded it up, it gives you an error message that you don't have the Amazon App Store installed. And I thought it was actually going to crash. But it didn't crash. It just, you, you hit OK and you just keep going and it just works. Um... A funny quick side note, if you do have the Amazon App Store installed, it actually nags you more. So I, I initially had had the Amazon App Store installed, and every time I would click a category or load a video, again, it was a nag screen that said the app was not purchased in the, app, in the Amazon App Store. Um, after uninstalling the Amazon App Store and rebooting the Nexus Player, uh, you get one nag screen in the beginning, um, and again, I can't even recreate this. It's it's probably multitasking, um, so it's probably still still running. But um, yeah, you get one little nag screen in the beginning, but then you can navigate through. I'm I'm trying to see if I can if I can get that error message again, but it doesn't look like it, and that's a good thing. <laughs> and yeah, I mean it's it's running in HD. It works perfectly with the with the Nexus Player remote here. I'm sorry for the for the uh, low quality, the low lighting in this room. But yeah, man, this is great. Um, you know, when it, when HBO Now first came out, and it was iPhone only. Um, I I did not go for it because I'm an Android guy. Um, but as soon as it came to to my Note Four. I went ahead and, and took the 30-day trial, and I think I'm going to keep it. Um, I mean, this is a good sign. This thing is working flawlessly on this device. I'm happy for now, and, and I do assume that eventually they will bring this to the masses of Nexus devices and Android TV devices. And there you go. There's uh, there's some better lighting for you. But, uh, but yeah, there it is, HBO Now. Uh, so now you can have HBO on your Nexus player. And this is just running fucking smooth and awesome. So, can't complain. There it is. There it is, kitties. So, if you're determined, you can get HBO. Up. Oh, am I going to get it? Maybe it'll give me the little nag screen? No? Oh, look at that. One little, one little nag screen. And that's about it. You know, if I had to to click that nag screen once a day, it would really not be the end of the world. It's literally an okay. Um, I'm going to try rebooting the device, because I do want to show you the nag screen. Um, oh, don't want to do 
do that. Um, look for other videos on how to sideload apps. Um, you have to download Chrome on your desktop. Um, basically, you open up a laptop. You go to the uh, the Play Store website, and you download Chrome, and you download Sideload Launcher, and you select the destination install device to be your Nexus player. Um, and then at that point, you can use the Chrome web browser to install any APKs you want. Um, the only drawback, if, uh, if you're a rookie at doing this, you don't get tiles for the app. So uh, as you see, it's like an extra step. You don't get the tile. Oh, on a side note, I installed the Amazon Instant Video, hoping this would work. I think it was working at one point. That's what I read. Uh, but now Amazon has blocked it. But I do not think Amazon is going to be able to block this HBO goodness. Only HBO could do that, and I really hope they don't because we, you know we're paying for this thing. We're we're supporting it. Everybody has Netflix, but we're all supporting HBO. We wanna we wanna see what they're capable of. So yep, there it is. There's the next screen. So it says Amazon App Store required. It looks like you no longer have an Amazon App Store on your device. Please install it and sign in. And you click OK. And and then you're done, I hope. Yeah. How did I get out of it last time? Maybe a back. Oh, jeez. Oh boy. Uh-oh, now I broke it. I swear this thing was working fine. Okay guys, so I'm going to reinstall this Amazon App Store and hopefully HBO will work again because after restarting it was force closing, which is not fun. Alright, so there we go. We got the Amazon App Store. Now let's go back to HBO and hopefully it will fire up. And there we go. So now we have the original message I was telling you guys about. App not owned. You do not own this app. Would you like more details? And then if I quit, oh boy, I swear this thing was working and I wanted to show it off to you guys. Alright, so let's see details. The user is not entitled to this content. Really? Really guys? Update the App Store. Uh, unless they pushed an update out like last night or something, this should be fine. This is really sucky. I'm going to try clearing the uh, cookies out of uh, this app. So let's clear the cache. And let's fire it up again. It's 
HBO Now is not available with your device. Yeah. You know, it really sucks that they put engineering and development hours into making things incompatible with each other. Because this app was working perfectly. They, they've actually engineered the app not to function, and that's uh, it's a damn shame. Alright. Let me try uninstalling this. Ho ho! And I think we may have cracked the code, the Da Vinci code, to getting this thing to work. Um, I'm gonna try to sign in, and hopefully rebooting the device. Uh, I I never reboot this device, but I I think rebooting the device is uh, causing some type of trigger. But let me try signing into my HBO account, and hopefully it'll be working. Uh, It'll be working without a problem uh, when we get back, so hang on.